tree! Oh, don't you look nice. A ghost, a Barbie, and I see you're an Oppenheimer. Interesting choice, young lad. Here you go, children. Enjoy your treats. What's this? This isn't candy. Well, it's better than candy. It's a YouTube video. Go forth, disperse. Greeting movie lovers, as you know it's Halloween and it's time for spooky movies and what better movie to watch with the whole family than Haunted Mansion. I'll admit, when I saw they were turning another Disney park ride into a film, I was pretty skeptical, even though I fully enjoyed Pirates and Jungle Cruise. This one just seemed kind of campy on the trailers, and it was, but I'll say this, it was entertaining. Starring Lakeith Stanfield, Rosario Dawson, and Owen Wilson, it takes the famous ride from Disneyland and turns it into a full-length feature film. It was written by Katie Dippold, who was a writer for Ghostbusters 2016 and The Heat. Look. This is better than those. And she also wrote for Parks and Rec, which was amazingly hilarious. And the director's chair was Justin Simeon, who also directed critically acclaimed Dear White People. But what is the plot, is what you're asking. I know this because my wicked crystal ball with Jamie Lee Curtis in it. The plot is this. Ben Mathias, played by Lakeith Stanfield, falls in love with a ghost tour lady, Alyssa, while inventing a camera that can detect dark matter. They get married and she dies. I know, I know. He's super sad, and when he meets Father Kent, played by Owen Wilson, who does exorcisms, Kent hires Ben to go to a mansion that is currently owned by Gabby, played by Rosario Dawson, and her son. So they all get haunted by ghosts that follow them home if they try to leave. And they put together a team, including Danny DeVito, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish, and the previously mentioned Jamie Lee Curtis, to find and take on the evil spirits that's ruling all the ghosts. That spirit is played by Jared Leto, no, wait, don't leave yet. I promise you. I didn't even realize it was him until I looked up on the cast later after watching. So maybe his best performance yet? The effects are actually pretty decent from the ghosts to the disorienting hallways that haunt the building. The story is pretty straightforward and Owen Wilson just does his normal shtick. I, like I said, it's entertaining, family friendly, and a little bit spooky for the little ones without worrying about gore and stuff like that. Seriously, he's nowhere to be found. And here's where I give you a little bit of history about the ride. First opening in Disneyland on August 9, 1969, it was originally developed in 1951 at the behest of Walt Disney, who wanted to make a New Orleans-themed land in his park. When he saw plans for the Annabellum Manor, with overgrown weeds and dead trees, he rejected the idea of not wanting a dirty old rundown house in his park. They eventually came up with some plans that Disney did like, and they began working on it in 1961, with Mark Davis, X Atencio, and Claude Coates leading the project and they were able to complete it three years after Disney's death in 1966. The special effects for the ride were developed by Raleigh Crump and Yale Gracie, whose last names were nodded at character names in the movie. This ride is sure to give you a decent fright. What did I think of this movie? Well, it was definitely better than what I thought it was going to be. It looked silly in the trailers, and given who wrote it, there was a high chance that it could cross too far into the silliness just like the Ghostbusters but I think they kept it just the right amount of silliness for a fun, kid-friendly movie. I'd say check it out on Disney Plus tonight while you're warming up after a chilly evening of trick-or-treating. But for now, I am Mr. Movie Lover, scaring all of you with my spooky head trick. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.